I wanted to make a quick video showing you how to perform a reflash on a Chrysler PCM. We've done several of these and a lot of times it's hard to remember on Chrysler what to click on and how to get to the uh, appropriate uh, programs and files and so forth. So just a quick overview. The first thing you do is go to techauthority.com and it takes you to this website. And then you'll want to log in right up there at the top. We're logged in already. If you don't have a username and password, you'll have to register or else uh, ask your teacher if, if he's got one. Once you've logged in, you need to go to the online subscriptions and purchase a subscription. So right there, you click on that. And we usually pick this first option, which is $35 for uh, a three-day subscription to the Tech Authority Online. We add that to your cart and purchase it. We won't do that now, but you, you put your credit card information in and so forth and buy that. And once you've purchased that, you better go back to techauthority.com. It won't take you back by itself. And then you come over and click on the Tech Authority Online Start Now button right there. As this loads, you'll see the, the menu on the left. You click on the J2534 Flash Application Process. It opens up a window. It gives you some instructions. You scroll down. If you already have the software loaded on the computer, the Chrysler software, you don't need to do this part um, if you've got the latest software. If you don't have the latest software or have never used your computer for this uh, reflash on a Chrysler before, you're going to have to go to here and click on Get the J2534 System. And once you click on that, it should take you to... Does it go? There, this website. And you'll scroll down just a little bit here um, to this link that says install. Get that to focus there, maybe. It says install. Anyway, you click on that and run the program and it installs the Chrysler program onto your laptop or desktop. Once that is installed, then we come back to this page here that's at and it says, click here to download ECU reprogramming files. So we click there. It opens up a window that allows you to enter your VIN or the year, make, and model. I think the most accurate way is to enter the VIN so that you get the exact calibration for your vehicle. And it will, once you do that and you click go, it will search for and find the updates for your vehicle. And, it, and you can download that update into the Chrysler program. From there, you plug, the, uh, you plug your J2534 pass-through device into the car, and you go to your desktop and click on that icon right there, which opens up the program. Yep, you choose one of those. And then the process is pretty easy from there. But as you can see, that process we just went through is not the most straightforward process. It's not easy to figure out without knowing where to go. Um, we often spend hours trying to figure out what to click on. So we wanted to make a, a three or four minute video that would save us and save other people a lot of time in the future. So there you have it.